Hello friends, this is my Kent Gem Induction Cooktop. I got this from Amazon for a price of 1,700 rupees. I was a bit apprehensive about the quality of this induction cooker since it was mid-range price. But after using it for around three months now, I have to say this is a very good induction cooker from Kent. The quality is, you know, as good as a high-end cooker. There are limitations in the functionalities, but it does provide um, a person with a low budget, one of the best cookers available in the market. You can see there are many options for frying, rice, water, milk, steam. And then there is timer, there is voltage uh, up and down buttons as well, on and off. I'm using a steel uh, rice pot to cook some, boil some rice. And this has got flat bottom, my steel uh, utensil, so it fits into the induction cooker. This is not an induction vessel. The best thing about it is I opted for rice and it started on a temperature of 1500. I don't exactly know the intricate details of how uh, you know it's uh, uh, the menu functions. But after the pot heated up, it automatically sends that it's uh, heated up and it reduced to 500 as you can see now. So basically this senses uh, the utensil, the heat and accordingly automatically reduces or you know, increases the heat to make sure that you your cooking is done properly. So that is the first time I'm seeing that in an induction cooker as far as I'm concerned. Now as the cooking progresses, you can see the temperature has come down to 200. So it automatically senses, like I mentioned before, the heat of the utensil and how much uh, you know heat is uh, needed for the cooking. So that's a big advantage for a mid-price cooker from Kent. So friends, uh, I'm very much satisfied with this cooker. I will uh, leave a link to the description below. And if you are interested, please go ahead and have a look at this Kent Gem Induction Cooker. Hopefully this short review helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.